All right, good day. Welcome, loves. Welcome, Libra. This is going to be your reading. Haven't done you guys in a while. All right, I do every zodiac sign. Just I do some more than others. It just depends on, you know, the audiences that I have. Of course, I'm going to cater to those that come to my channel. Some people say, well, wouldn't you want to focus more on the ones? Fuck no. I don't waste my fucking time on that shit. All right, I go with the flow. I go with the vibes. All right, so let's see what we got here for the Libra Collective. Uh, we'll see what this reading is, all right? And if it turns out like the last reading, I'm going to have to end up splitting them again. All right, so let's see what I've got. Hit that like, subscribe, and share. It does help with the algorithms. All right. Cards are acting fucking weird, but whatevs. All right, let's do two more shuffles here. So we have the Shadow Work card, all right? where you tend to self-indulge in things that are affiliated with your shadow side. <clears throat> All right, so the self-indulgence, focus on yourself. Um, take out, or take time to heal and do that shadow work. Gotta understand self-appreciation. You have to appreciate yourself. So I'm kind of getting like a bit of like low confidence, low self-worth. Self-worth is key. That's like the skunk in the freaking animal oracle. All right, let's see what else we got. We got clarity in the rose. All right, so you need to, yeah, have, you need to see things for what it is. But I feel like right now you don't want to hear it. Unfortunately, you may have some addictive behaviors, like behaviors that are addictive in a very shadowy way. Um, you need to reflect on your own wounds because I feel like there's a little bit of reflecting going on and like projecting here. So that was what's at the top. Wow. And then we have here the heartbroken. So you got a lot of things going on here. There's a lot of like emotional damage, emotional trauma, stuff like that here. So it's like you need to find the strength here, um, accept the truth so you can have clarity because truth brings clarity in the mind, right? Self-appreciation, working on yourself, accepting your faults, accepting your flaws, and finding a way to fix them for the better of yourself and the collective. So let's get here for the Libran collect Collective. Here, let's do two more. All right, so we have here the Nine of Swords. I feel like you're blocked off from seeing the reality And there's just, there's like a mental block here that you need to unblock. That's what the sword and the rose is going to do. But you have to accept the truth. And I feel like you fear the truth is what I'm getting. Yeah, you need to focus on growth. But you can't grow if you're hanging on to things that don't serve you well. All right, there's that um, reflecting on your own wounds. It's that hermit energy here. All right, and, you know, just gaining that introspection here with the mirror card over here. All right, so, yeah, and transform, all right, because death brings a rebirth. It brings transformation, transformative energy that does us wonders if we do it in the right ways for the better of ourselves and our loved ones. And, yeah, so let's get for the Librans, for the self-indulgence, the sword, the rose, the Nine of Swords, the Addiction. Who wants to be here? The Seven of Wands. Yeah, I just feel like you're blocked off from this. It's like you don't want to see it. You need to just focus on your lane. All right? Staying in your lane, in your bubble, and finding peace. That's really what I'm getting. But there's like a really low vibe energy that doesn't want to acknowledge it. Maybe it's because, you know, people have to um, go through some things that they may not feel comfortable doing. You may have to own up to certain things, but it's going to set you free. 
we have the moon here yeah it's like there's a lot that you're not showing there's a it's like i was saying it's like that pain and that fucking trauma there's the hermit again you need to reflect on your wounds you need to acknowledge them find the truth in it and heal from it because staying in this three of swords and just keeping things i don't know i'm just getting a lot of a lot of things are not being shown i'm just getting like the emotions are like mental and it's like there's mental and emotional issues here and it's like you're drowning in trauma and pain and stuff that you know yeah it's like some of it you might be reaping what you sow but i'm also getting you need to invest time into this trauma this pain that you feel we have here the devil you need to release the toxicity the negativity the things that are just not serving you the low vibe things the shadow side of yourself and turn a new leaf right see the world through a different lens a different perspective that goes a long ways here but you need to tend to your own garden and focus on yourself the star card i saw so yeah and do the healing work shadow work helps heal but you have to confront it head on no delusions no illusions like the moon can bring the two of swords but you're just kind of blocked off it's that addiction that has a blockage it's like something isn't connecting right in your brain so maybe drugs did it maybe drugs killed the brain i've told people you know just because you're young doesn't mean the effects won't show up later in life you know the damage has been done the long-term effects are showing gonna show so yeah maybe you guys were doing drugs at like 14 here with the double sevens yeah the, yeah i feel like that's saying yes because that's what the devil can represent sex drugs rock and roll this being sexually provocative stuff like that here um yeah So we have, yeah, the Ace of Swords. It's that sword with the rose here. It's having that mental... Because right now, it's like you're struggling. You're struggling mentally, passionately, emotionally, physically. And it's like you just need to release these burdens that are causing a bunch of issues. Yeah, because then there's the Queen of freaking Swords. I feel like it affects your family too. Maybe you need to release people or, yeah. But there is like a lot of toxicity here. Maybe you, yeah. But I'm just getting, yeah, there's a lot of like, kind of like promiscuous <clears throat> energy here. And with that devil coming out at that same time. We have here the Ten of Swords. Yeah, that's what's really done it here. And it's like you did it to yourself because the Ten of Swords is kind of like your own doing. Like you, you want to be resilient and you want to push your limits. And this is kind of what happens as life goes on. It's like you're just, you're wounded. Yeah, there's Queen of Swords again. It's like you're just, your world is in misery. Oh my God. And then we have the eight of freaking swords. Yeah. It's like you have a, a mental issue is really what I'm getting. And it's like you destroy yourself. Because there's no restraint. There's a lot of like controlling energy here. Obsessive, codependent, just... I don't know if you're codependent on other people or if it's drugs or if it's both. 
But it's like, you don't want to change. You don't want to do anything. You want to be the same thing and expect different outcomes. There's a nine of wands again. All right, let's wrap this up here for the Librans. Yeah, I'm going to start splitting these up again. I had good success with that by separating the Septembers to the Octobers. The energy is just different. Oh, I think I saw the, the lovers. Maybe you haven't been able to get over a lover. Maybe you're still stuck on a lover here. Feeling stabbed in the back by a lover here with the devil. I don't freaking know, or the moon. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Cancer or a Pisces. Yeah, we have here, Jesus, ancient Christ. You contemplate your hardships. Your hardships are your own doing. Codependency, obviously codependency, right? Doesn't have to be up or down for me to fucking know what the hell card should be fucking reversed. And so with the Tower and the Five of Pentacles, Four of Cups, you you just sit and contemplate, you know, why do I go through all these hardships? Why do I go through all these struggles? Why does it feel like everything is falling apart? It's your own doing. When you don't do the shadow work, when you don't heed the warnings that I feel like not just tarot readers are presenting, but things in actual life, this is what happens. Your life stays in poverty. It stays facing hardship after hardship and nothing being stable. There's no stability. Everything is just boom. Opportunities don't present themselves because you, you need to not be codependent. Codependency is not healthy whatsoever. Because if them people aren't there one day, you're going to be royally fucked. Yeah, we have the Ten of Wands. You need to just pack up the past, I feel, and let it go, whatever's going on here. But the Tower is here, speaking pretty loud and clear, that, you know, these hardships are your own doing. We have there. You have divine energies that are trying to push you in a different direction. Different like energy right to just move out of this and move forward but and to liberate yourself and wake up because it's like this energy look at it it just looks lethargic right barely hanging in by a thread so i think i'm just gonna leave that there all right because it's speaking very fucking loud and clear so i'm gonna leave that there you guys have a good day.